put that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? Christopher Nolan has a new film that he's got coming out, and it's already got a release date. It's like June or July of 2026, which means this thing's almost ready to go into production. Mm -hmm. And now we already know that it's going to have Matt Damon, who, of course, was in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer film. So Chris likes to work with actors that he's worked with before. Mm -hmm. And now we've got another star. As the Hollywood Reporter has now put out that Tom Holland, Spider-Man, is going to star in Christopher Nolan's latest film. Matt Damon is already on the call sheet to for the top secret feature that Universal will open in 2026. The Won't story be secret says for long now. What's that? <laughs> Won't be secret for long now. Yeah. We're going to find That's out real quick from it. Tom. Yeah, Tom does <laughs> not historically keep secrets well. <laughs> Tom Holland will star in Christopher Nolan's latest feature, joining Matt Damon at the top of the secret venture. Nolan wrote the script and is directing the project, which Universal Pictures will distribute. The studio has already set a release date of July 17th, 2026. That means less than two years from now, this movie's already going to be in theaters. It's going to beat Blade to theaters. Anyway, plot details are being kept under wraps, but sources say the setting is not present day. Although it's unclear whether it's going to be set in the past or in the future, Nolan's producing alongside his producing partner and wife, Emma Thomas, for their syncope banner. I'm sorry. It's not set in present day, so it's either the past or the future. Yeah, those would be the options. Nothing else. It's only those two you're options. That's about, journalism. You're not thinking about the fourth dimension. Though, so. Oh, shit. Oh, and see, now I'm foolish. All it's right. in a parallel timeline, yeah. but well, not present fair, day. Guys. Fair, All right. My guess here Very is it's going to be in the future. <laughs> It seems to me that Christopher Nolan doesn't like to do two similar films back to back. Like even when he's doing his Batman films, he would do a Batman film, then something else entirely, then do another Batman film, then do something else entirely, then do another Batman film, then do something else entirely. So my guess, and I have nothing to base this on other than that pattern, is it'll be something set historically. Here's the big story to me, though. This is a story about Tom Holland. Tom Holland, who I think it's fair to say most of us really love. I think he's wonderful. But <clears throat> he has not been able to break out in anything other than Spider-Man. Yeah. Because although he's taken on some good-looking projects, they always end up sucking ass. Yep. <clears throat> Sorry. I almost had a spit take. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just end up being terrible through no fault of his. His job is to show up and perform. And the stuff he's been in so far through no fault of his own has been terrible. Mm -hmm. And so my fear, I've started to grow a little bit worried for Tom because, you know, he's got a wedding to plan and all this kind of stuff. I've been getting worried that he was going to become one of these guys that was Spider-Man and that was it. And to get to headline a Christopher Nolan film, that just takes it to the next level for him. And I, and I really do hope, not that I want him to stop doing Spider-Man movies. I hope he has tons of other great success so he continues to do Spider-Man movies. I'm just saying, I hope this will finally open the door because I think he's a fine actor. Again, even in the movies that I really dislike, you can just see he's got it. He has that quality. And if he can now piggyback on being in a Christopher Nolan film and to have other success from that to go along with his Spider-Man success, I think would be great. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this. What What are your thoughts on this? I'm so happy for him because like you, I have been so frustrated by his career moves because he's excellent, yeah. but he's not in excellent projects. The Crowded Room is not a particularly good show by any means, but he acts his ass off in it and he is just trying his best even in movies that flop he does a really great job even in movies that have box office acclaim but maybe not critical like uncharted that was a case of i just think you're miscast here i just think this is not the uncharted we want mm -hmm. he still delivers he and still does a great do with job daisy ridley chaos chaos walking oh, chaos that had that so much potential mm -hmm. Oh. Cherry had potential. I Cherry mean, had so much potential. He's done so many movies that just miss the mark. And I think this ultimately is a testament to, hey, you are a very solid actor and we all see it. And if Christopher Nolan wants you to be playing against Matt Damon in one of his films, you know you're doing something right. Yeah. 
He's an excellent, excellent actor. And I'm really hoping that this leans more Oppenheimer than, uh, you know, other Nolan films that haven't done as well. Um, I hope that this is really excellent and that we see Tom really shine and finally have something that has critical acclaim, box office acclaim, et cetera, that isn't a Spider-Man film. Because he's so gifted. Yeah, and, and it would be just nice to be able to see him be able to have that success again all the other projects no no fault of his but we'll see how this turns out. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self cooling properties for better quality sleep. Sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code campy at checkout you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20 percent miracle is so confident in their product it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you aren't 100 percent satisfied you'll get a full refund so upgrade your sleep with miracle made go to trymiracle.com slash campia and use the code campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40 percent off again that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself thank you miracle made for sponsoring this episode anyway guys question is for you what do you think about this tom holland is going to headline a christopher nolan film coming out in less than two years how do you feel about do you think this could be his big platform to be able to break beyond just being spider-man whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast available on apple podcast spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it